Joe Biden accidentally confirmed that the Denver airport was no longer a mystery. For those who don't know, recently a man named Jeffrey Donson exposed the mystery surrounding the Denver airport by entering into the underground area and capturing images of animal and human experiments taking place there. He shared these images online, but they were quickly deleted, and he then vanished without a trace. However, several individuals were able to download the pictures before they were removed. Despite these proofs, the government has since claimed that the images were fake. Recently, Joe Biden made a huge mistake. One day, while browsing through some of the CIA's most important documents, he suddenly fell asleep. During his nap, an intruder entered the White House through a window and managed to access the documents on his computer. And their content will shock you. They revealed the CIA's plan to delete Jeffrey's images because they actually revealed the truth about the mysterious airport and its hidden secrets. Furthermore, the documents showed that the CIA was responsible for Jeffrey Donson's disappearance. I really felt like there was gonna be some kind of confirmation in this video. He had lost me in the beginning, but the through the window at the White House is where I died. <laughs> right. I'm like, so it's like, my head, you, you listen hey. for confirmation. I'm like, well, what confirmed me is that the sleepy Joe got some lack like, security sneaking <laughs> through the window of the White House. How did you get into the window? Accessing the program on exactly how to get all the files off of About this, this airport. <laughs> I'm not um. saying that there ain't nothing under the Denver airport. So we got a late night emergency alert, breaking news on the World War III front for you tonight. A story that is developing in St. Petersburg, Russia. A sub-district in St. Petersburg is completely blacked out. 100,000 people are without power. And because there's no power, there's no power to the water pump, so the pumps can't pump water. Apparently, this is what witnesses are saying now. No power, no water for 100,000 people in St. Petersburg. Now, power outages happen. But what's more interesting is what the eyewitnesses claim happened about half an hour before this event occurred. They claim that they seen flashes in the sky and accompanied by loud explosions. And then about a half an hour later, there's conflicting reports. Some say 15 minutes, some say an hour. After those explosions and flashes in the sky, there was this massive power outage in and around St. Petersburg. Extremely disturbing letters, or a letter and an email, one from a mainstream media TV company, one from a newspaper listing a litany of extremely egregious and aggressive attacks, as well as some pretty stupid and stuff, like a, this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks, are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. So what exactly are these allegations? Take a look at this. These allegations only come after Russell has started to expose how the system works against us and how it intends to keep you there. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that then, almost too transparent. And to see that transparency metastasized into something criminal that I absolutely deny makes me question, is there another agenda at play? Particularly when we've seen coordinated media attacks before, like with Joe Rogan, when he dared to take a medicine that the mainstream media didn't approve of. And we saw a spate of headlines from media outlets across the world using the same language. I'm aware that you guys have been saying in the comments for a while, watch out, Russell, they're coming for you. You're getting too close to the truth. Russell Brand did not kill himself. I know that a year ago there was a spate of articles. Russell Brand's a conspiracy theorist. Russell Brand's right wing. I'm aware of news media making phone calls, sending letters to people I know for ages and ages. It's being clear to me, or at least it feels to me like there's a serious and concerted agenda to control these kind of spaces and these kind of voices. And I mean my voice along with your voice. What I seriously refute are these very, very serious criminal allegations. Also, it's worth mentioning that there are witnesses whose evidence directly contradicts the narratives that these two mainstream media outlets are trying to construct, apparently in what seems to me to be a coordinated attack. I don't want to get into this any further because of the serious nature of the allegations, but I feel like I'm being attacked and plainly they are working 
very closely together. In the meantime, I want you to stay close, stay awake, but more important than any of that, if you can, please stay free. What is free? <laughs> they have hands in everything. They control all aspects of life. They allow us access. If you go against any part of them, the whole thing will crash down on you. What he's talking about, that's real. We see it happen mainly uh, in the mainstream media. You see it happen to, you know, our people. Whenever we mess up, they take away all of our accolades mm -hmm. and try to make us out to be this horrible person or mm -hmm. put certain charges out there. But right. it's just like what he said when he was a, a star living life. He was very promiscuous. Everything was consensual. Now he started telling the truth and all of a sudden he has to force women and do this, that, and the third. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. It's Russell Brand. <laughs> it's mainly because of the system's fear of the truth. Right. Because there's so many lies that have been told or evoked in order to cover up the crafty, the shady, <laughs> the gross and disgusting factors of this world order they got to keep that in the wraps because they have to bring in the new world on their own terms not somebody else coming in messing theirs up and so anything that steps out of line needs to get put back into <laughs> line or needs to be removed all the way they definitely got to do it to the ones that have more power, fame, or status. Ones who people listen to more. Mm -hmm. They're not going to listen to the homeless man on the side of the road before they listen to the Grammy winning millionaire. One of the most evil, vicious Navy bases in the history of the planet. They do stuff that would make <laughs> like Santa Claus. Diego Garcia. So. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Diego Garcia. That's where that first Malaysian plane is. That's where it landed. It had four scientists on it. Huh? 20 scientists, but four had filed for patents. It was Malaysia, but they worked out of Austin, Texas, for Texas Instrument. And the ones behind that plane was Texas Instrument, the government, and Boeing, who made the plane. And everybody is stupid enough to believe that a plane almost a block long can just disappear. With the electronics we have, all the technology we have, the next generation of cars will come out, there'll be no drive. So we got four of those top scientists mm -hmm. that had filed for patents worth $400 billion. Okay. So if one, two, three of us and your brother, four, we filed for patents. And then here's a friend of y'all's who's with us. So five of us filed for patents. If we die before the patent is granted, then your brother, who wasn't on the plane with us, he owns them all. Mm -hmm. So those four scientists and the fifth person was the Carlisle Group. Mm -hmm. They own them all now. The patent was granted three days after the plane was missing. <laughs> wow. Okay. And so what I'm saying is this is this is the game and if you can't follow that thread, then you don't you don't it's crazy. What were the patents for? Huh? What were the patents for? Well oh, the patents was you heard people talk about they're gonna one day inject you and can control you. Well these guys come up with something they don't have to inject you, they just put in this room and you come in and you smell it. Okay. And that's why they killed them. They might have not kill. They might just let them sit there and die. They, man, uh, they have salted together with one consent. It's out here. They serious out here, man. They do it to their own. And it's like a lot of the inventions that have been made over the years throughout history, they all be with good intent. 
for the betterment of the people. But then a lot of those really good inventions don't get pushed through. Right. They get put on the side in the back burner, made to disappear. Like the brother who created a, a engine that ran off of hydrogen or, or water. Right. That brother is no longer pushing his uh, pushing his engine like that. That is out of there now. <clears throat> Right, because if that was if that was to go through, then we wouldn't need the electric ones, let alone the gas ones. No, Those are out. full on industry corporation infrastructures that would just go out of business. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody want to see their business go out of business, right? Especially not in this country. This country is a business. For real. But there was that ant that stood up to me. Yeah, but we can forget about him. Yeah, it was just one ant. <laughs> <laughs> one ant. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's just one ant. Yeah, boys. They're puny. Hmm, puny? Say, let's pretend this brain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> how about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. That right there is the way not to do it. Because that's telling us to take a stand with violence is is is, well, is now, one thing is one thing to take a stand together versus to take a stand together in violence now I, actually, I don't really think that really translates to to violence he said did that hurt <laughs> but i i think that really what the point is is that if the people band together we can no longer control them you know what I'm saying? That's really how I see it. Defeat them. You can defeat somebody without violence. But then again, we talking about the Bible now. The Bible, there's a little bit of violence that come with that now. Okay, it, it, it's gonna be violent, but, but retribution to have it on its own. You feel me? But man, that is one of those things. But like that's what I, that's what I talk about all the time is how the truth is in the movies. They literally put it in the movies. In the kid shows and stuff because when you put it in when you put it in here it's a cool line for a movie not the truth about the government and the people that run the world and no one's ever gonna well people might look at it now since it's been put out like this but most people they're not gonna watch this movie and when they see this scene they're not gonna think about that they're only gonna think about the ants and these people and the movie that they're watching and that's the reason why they put it in these things, so that everybody can disassociate these real matters from real life. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not going to look at it like, oh, these are some cabinet members, or these are the leaders from right. these countries sitting around together having crafty councils. They don't look at it like that. Yeah, nah. Wait until the end. Happening right now across the globe as of about three minutes ago 7 15 eastern time 99 percent of the entire world's population is facing the sun that means we're all experiencing some degree of sunlight at the exact same time either full daylight or for a lot of other folks twilight if you look at the map right there just the pacific islands and australia the, the australian region are fully in the dark. 99% of the world. And, and California. Poor California. <laughs> no, yes. You know what, though? What a cool phenomenon. One thing to bring us all together, literally to bring all of us together, because at this moment, I'm talking right now, 715, 99% of the population of the Earth is in some sort of daylight or sunlight. Now, this is due to the fact that the Earth has a tilt to it, 23 and a half degrees. So it's the way it's rotating around the sun and the way it's you know, or orbiting uh, in general. But right now, at this time in the calendar year, this doesn't happen 
and every day. This only happens today, and it only happens right now. 7.68 billion people are in daylight or in twilight. The only spots that are not in daylight right now are uh, Australia, Papua New Guinea, and New Zealand. Outside of that, the rest of the world is in daylight. Do you like that? <laughs> oh, hey. my God. This doesn't happen very often. It is just today. It's just <laughs> right now. Yeah, right. Like, like this is, y'all told me it was a globe. That's what you said in first grade. You said, here, look at this globe and spin it around. This is where you're at. And that's what y'all said. How can the light go around, around when it's right. supposed to be shining directly? Millions of billions. How, how, how far away is the sun from the earth? Well, right. the light rays shouldn't be bending like that <laughs> at all. Right. I or like, uh, <laughs> look, this person right here said, I'm still trying to figure out why the moon is always out at 11 a.m. or 12 noon right across from the sun in LA. So what, Asia don't got a moon at night? <laughs> like, like, take a second and think about what you've been taught. You start to be like, well, uh, what? Mm -hmm. How is this even possible, y'all? Right. Like, even, let's just say that there is a tilt. Let's just say that it is spinning. Let's just say that it is orbiting the sun and let's just say that all of these cosmic things that we all know they don't have the ability to look at <laughs> if let's just say it's real this should not happen ever right. ever to not be possible right possible like it, it, it what y'all saying it because like all this land should be wrapped around the earth right so it's, therefore it shouldn't be on the same visual level at the same time you have to move to see the other side and move to see that side so that means that the sun should have to move to be able to see that end piece of the u.s versus this part of china and everything in between it at the same time because that's more than 180 degrees right. and more than half of a sphere from what they say it's supposed to be so, you know, man, y'all got to make sure that y'all do y'all due diligence, man, when y'all listen to these people, when y'all going into these uh, conspiracy theories and everything, man. Y'all need to make sure that y'all do y'all due diligence. Okay, 17 plus. Yeah. Hey, got to be 17 and that to look at this. You're not yeah. allowed to see this as a kid. Right, right. Because <laughs> they need to indoctrinate you first. <laughs> and they need to make sure that you are fully, fully on board with the the model they they put forth so that no one right. can ever change your mind and then when somebody like me come up and show you logic and common sense you're gonna call me crazy today's conspiracy theory may be tomorrow's truths listen to me it's the water it's that lady been telling us water it's the think about it stay fucking with me they say outer space is way the fuck up there think outer space is in the fucking water it's in the ocean that's why they say outer space go infinity and beyond it's because the ocean goes infinity and fucking beyond and that's why 70 percent of the fucking ocean ain't been discovered because it's fucking outer space they said when that man had went to the moon and he went there and he was fucking walking like that y'all know how he was walking it's because it's fucking underwater the fucking flag moving is because it's under fucking water you know make some fishes move some shit move just some waves move it's gonna make the fucking flag move and then the fucking footprint the footprint if outer space they don't got no fucking gravity how the fuck they leave a footprint it's because if you take anybody into the water and you go down enough and there's fucking sand there you can this is how they've been getting us we need water for everything dealing with a person because people got us figured out all the way down to sales Think about this shit water they made people afraid to get into the water take it back to ancestors times y'all they was like literally torturing women you know what i'm saying when they was into the water how do you think so many people is afraid to get in the water because if we can make you afraid enough of this shit you won't have no type of desire no fucking interest to go 
into the water to go look into the fucking water. I'm telling y'all, this shit is a little creepy. This shit is a little crazy because we need water for everything. You fucking water your crops. Um, you bathe in water. You cook in water. You drink water. Water isn't everything down there that we need to survive. And even if you cut meat and lettuce and whatever the fuck else out of your diet and you go on a liquid diet you still fucked you know why because it's in the water most of these people be coming up under my shit saying i don't drink water i drink soda i drink kool-aid i drink lemonade cool but you know what but most of that is it's fucking water i'm telling y'all that's why the bottom of that rocket ship had fucking fire because did y'all know that fire can still live underwater and on top of the water like and it can grow like have y'all not seen the tiktok videos of like the earth right now like what's y'all ain't been paying attention to the water she took it <laughs> and she got a piece of uh she got a piece of something yeah she got a piece <laughs> of something because it definitely ain't what they saying it is right because they don't even know enough to say what it is Right. No, they no. want to tell you about the ocean life and they only know about the, what she said, what, 30%? Mm -hmm. I don't even think it's 30%. Probably they not. don't know nothing. They don't know anything. They start to get a little deep and they get scared. Right? One guy went down there in, in the submarine and found, like, what what they say, like another an ocean underneath the ocean. And then the most high took him off the earth. <laughs> he did enough. Yeah, can't can't have you out here messing stuff up. Mm, now I gotta make them scared to come back into the yeah. water. <laughs> you didn't you open the floodgates. Now oh, we gotta stop man. you. For real, man. Oh man, they be tripping. Let's see what they got. Simpsons predictions, or should we say plans, for 2023 are downright chilling. In an episode from 1998, the show hinted at an economic crisis, nuclear war and the death of the leader of the United States, all happening in the same year. The episode in question, titled Bart to the Future, shows a glimpse into the future where Lisa Simpson has become the president of the United States. In a conversation with her staff, Lisa mentions the previous administration, headed by President Biden, left behind a budget crunch and quite a bit of a mess. Later in the episode, a news broadcast reports on a nuclear skirmish with an unspecified country leading to mass destruction and chaos. While the idea of a nuclear war and economic crisis is frightening enough, of course we can only hope that these predictions from The Simpsons do not come true. But it's hard to ignore the show's track record of foreseeing major events, making us wonder what else they might have predicted for the future. To unlock secrets of humanity, visit our profile for a free ebook bundle. So yeah, um, I'm all about The Simpsons predictions because they they ain't missed yet. They yet. I'm talking about verbatim. Yeah, there's some there's some 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 help from above happening in that show. There's been way too many alignments that can't be ignored. But we'll see. You know. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, eh? They drop the bomb, they're gonna drop it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it. <laughs> Here we come. Anana Kuli Makawani and Ona Nana Lula Wa Hawaii. Hawaii? What about Hawaii? Mo? Who's going to Hawaii? Am I going to Hawaii? Stop saying Hawaii in there. You fools! You've erected a massive concave reflective surface. It will focus the sun's beam in a deadly ray. Real quick. <laughs> You saw the videos of the girl trying to say that it was like a yeah. beam that came down from a high, a high, uh, a high powered focus energy, energy, uh, energy beam or whatever. First off, I'd like to thank the good people at Chan Jinning and Donuts and Tops for neutralizing our wonderful, deadly new lard lad. Don't sleep that, on the Simpsons, man. Man, is that what just happened? Yeah, don't sleep on the Simpsons, man. How old was that episode? They said 1998 out here. I know that was the other one, but I mean, you could tell, I mean, it wasn't new. And the Hawaii situation was new. 
one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. Today I'd like to bring to your attention a potential fraud on an enormous scale happening in your county. There's now clear evidence of NASA using numerous methods to grossly mislead the public about astronauts being on the International Space Station. During interior ISS scenes from NASA's own live feed, the use of wires, harnesses, green screens, and virtual reality have been detected to achieve the appearance of a weightless environment. Examples of this include astronauts fading in and out of the screen, green screen glitches, grabbing objects that aren't really there, pulling on invisible wires, getting tangled in their harnesses, and even astronauts appearing out of thin air. This begs the obvious question. If they're really up there, why are they using Hollywood techniques to fake the footage? Now, unfortunately, I can't show you these clips in here today, but I will be sending them to you. Moving on, during outside, or outside the International Space Station, during spacewalks, air bubbles have been recorded on numerous occasions. How is it possible for air bubbles to be present in the vacuum of space? I once questioned astronaut Scott Kelly about this phenomenon. His body language and answers only created more questions. In 2013, astronaut Luca Parmitano nearly drowned during a spacewalk when his helmet filled with water. This happened again just last year. Air bubbles, helmets filling with water, and drowning. Are they in space or are they underwater? Now what's really interesting is that they train for spacewalks in an underwater pool with a complete ISS replica. Now surely they aren't filming these spacewalks in an underwater pool and then editing them to appear if they're in space. Because that sure would be something, wouldn't it? I'm calling on the Brevard County Commissioners to open a full investigation into NASA's fraudulent practices and use of taxpayer dollars. It costs NASA $3 billion per year to operate the ISS, and if they don't have a darn good explanation as to why they're faking these videos, I and the public would like a darn good explanation as to where our tax money is going. And if they are indeed faking the funk, it is our duty to expose and eliminate this fraudulent and astronomically wasteful ISS program. And look, I know what you're all thinking. NASA is part of the federal government, and you're just county commissioners. Even if what I'm saying is true, what can you do? But let me remind you, not only is this happening in your county, as public officials, you have the platform and the ability to make a statement or hold a press conference, alerting the public, state, and federal authorities to investigate further. You have the power to start the conversation. Video evidence of everything I described today will be emailed to you all, and I truly hope we can get to the bottom of this. I look forward to the day that $3 billion annual budget is put towards our veterans, our homeless, maybe some of that mental health stuff the young lady just spoke about, and the revitalization of Rivard County. Thank you for your time today, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, sir. I think you're better at ping pong than I am. Here's how. Just simply use a blue screen. Boyla, now you have a bubble of water floating, as if he's in the outer space inside the ISS. We got to understand, man, um, it's real out here. Like these comments, right? So there's two comments I'm going to point out, right? This first person, uh, Cheryl, right? Um, she going right in here. This guy is just some idiot that used a public open forum to make his to make this speech that wasn't even relevant to the meeting. Lab, uh, LMFAO, right? And then there's another that says, I don't get why they lie. What's the point? Why do they want us to believe in a whole system that isn't even there? So for both of those things, see, Cheryl, that's the type of person that uh, that is going to allow this stuff to continue to go on. Because even though what he said was not relevant to the meeting, everything he said was true. And you can literally go watch it on their live feeds on their nasa approved publications these are things that we've all actually seen you know what i'm saying and when, when the flat earth thing went really big these are all videos that, that surfaced that was passed around looked around um you know what i'm saying everybody went back and watched episodes of stuff that they saw on the on a science channel and stuff like that and, and had to make sure and yeah a hundred percent it was like that right everybody's seen the air bubbles um on the iss and all of that stuff we've all seen the underwater facility that they use to uh to mimic it we've all seen the blue screen that was shown at the end of this thing right here we've all seen this stuff right 
But then we still have people like Cheryl who will be like, oh, this guy's just some idiot. Right. And explain why they don't have an actual photo <laughs> of the earth. Right. But 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 Cheryl can't tell you why they, why all the photos of the earth are CGI. She can't tell you that. But she can tell you this guy's an idiot, right? And then the other person, BB up here, she wants to know she 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 doesn't get why they would lie. Well, guess what? If if people can convince you that you're on, you know, essentially a speck of dust in the vastness of space, guess what that means? That means that you're not significant. You're nothing special. You're nobody. And you don't deserve any of these things in life that you really want. Because that means there's no like if what if if the things they say about space is true, that means that there is no God the way that we know it on the earth. There is no firmament over the earth like they say it is. There is none of these things that make everything everything. It would have to change your entire reality if that is actually true. But most people are going to be like Cheryl. These guys are just some, some idiot. Even though that guy got up there and he was he spoke very proper. He was intelligent with his speaking. He didn't trip over his words. He brought evidence with him. Um, he had real points to bring up, cited certain things and like everything. But somehow he's just an idiot. And that's that that's all she could see. I wonder what the replies were to her. Yeah, see, somebody said, doesn't mean it's a lie. And then she was like, if they have to edit and trick people into thinking he's an expert and giving a lecture to people who ask to hear what he has to say, he's full of stuff, right? Edit and trick people. Right. Now, but and then she was like, why, why don't you do your research first before opening your mouth, Cheryl, right? What did Cheryl say back? By research, do you mean watching YouTube videos made by idiots? Uh, because that's where you get flat earth search. And then, I don't think the flat earth stuff is real, but NASA fake, these things wouldn't surprise me. All right. So, but that's the problem right there. Like the, the, the interaction that Cheryl's having, like, like people like that, they're not even going to try to see if it's true. Like they like they're like it's like aliens are real. Nope. Right. <laughs> then it's like the government finally said they are. Nope. Nope. <laughs> like you are not about to mess up my perfect life. <laughs> right. Like <laughs> all right, be destroyed with it. It is gonna like come crashing down hard. <laughs> right. Like what do you mean? Like oh, it's it, it's literally a string on on the, like uh, it's like an that. air bubble in space. You don't even deserve to go out of space. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even deserve to know what it is up there. You, yeah, just, like, you just stay inside your rabbit man. hole. Of a it's like, okay, life. fine, bro. <laughs> Whatever, man. Uh, she's just going off on this man that ain't do nothing to her. Right. He's just except for try, to except for try, try, try to get your money out of these evil people's hands so that it can go to something real. When has <laughs> NASA benefited you? Never. They supposed to have went to the moon. Did not in the in the nineteen hundreds and have never done it again. <laughs> never done it. What phenomenal have they done since? Oh, they got pictures of Mars that don't even really look like pictures. Like the real looking stuff is CG, like the Earth. Right. You can you can go to Arizona and get a picture look like Mars. Yeah. So and then you can change the color of it and it looks like the moon. All right. So you know. Y'all gotta stay up. Y'all gotta stay up on y'all stuff, man. Do y'all research. Wake the fuck y'all up, people. Conspiracy theories or anything, but check this out. So I saw this video. Did you see they just uh, did some weird law with house insurance in California? Yeah, they removed house insurance out there. State Farm is pulling out of that market. I kind don't of feel like um, some massive is gonna happen. And not even two minutes later, this text message pops up. Pause to read. Like, wait a minute. Well, like, I'm sitting with your brother. They already been telling us, bro. Pay attention. Stop sleeping with my videos. It's not just California. This whole goddamn world is going to shit. I met this guy in Yellowstone. This is crazy.
crazy guy, but he's been right about everything that's happened so far. And he said the government is building these ships, spaceships. I don't know what, but some. You know what he's saying? He met this crazy guy in Yellowstone Park. You know, like the people that y'all say is the stupid idiots, right? But he's been right about everything so far. And he didn't believe him until there's a big hole in the city. Like, come on, man. Something with ships. Yeah, places where we can be safe. He knows where they are. He's got a map. Kate, you gotta just trust me on this, okay? Guys. No, pay attention. Pay attention. It's heading on, right? Let me show you. Look this map up. Why do y'all think that they're just letting people rob stores in California right now? Like, why do y'all think people have been escaping and building bunkers and shit like that? I mean, y'all see what it's saying? They been telling us, bro. Literally. I just need y'all to understand, y'all, that there's a reason why California been on the map lately, bro. With all this shit going on. I'm telling you. It's time for us to wake up! Hey, and say, I work in the car insurance industry in the homeowners in industry, right? Um, we can't do no renters quotes for California. Like we can't, we can't do no property quotes for California. Mm -mm. They are an uninsurable risk for whatever reason. They won't tell us why, but we are not allowed to sell them any kind of property insurance. And if they get car insurance, they got to pay for that all the way up front. And they got to wait two weeks for it to start. They can't get it the same day. It's impossible. And all companies are acting like that with people in California. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, they not lying. Like, I hope y'all li listening, but I work for that. Like, I do that for a, a job. And we can't do that in California no more. That's real. <laughs> That's real. Government doesn't want you to know they have the last Sarcosuchus, the gigantic crocodile. Government used to conduct river exploration deep within the Amazon River back in the 1970s. They built a massive underwater facility in the river. This underwater habitat was known as Sector S. They utilized it to monitor rare and ancient species. All this information was unearthed by explorer and researcher Carlos Martinez from Santiago earlier this year. On May 23rd, Carlos was on a research expedition near the heart of the Amazon while navigating a heavy rain caused them to lose their way. Once the rain stopped, Carlos noticed an unusual underwater structure. Through the thick green water, he saw the bars of a massive cell. Carlos had dive gear with him, so he went down to see it closer. Descending, he realized the structure was colossal. Then he discovered an engraving which read, Sector S, property of the U.S., unauthorized access prohibited. The cell bars were spaced two feet apart, allowing tight entry. As he was getting ready to go up, he heard a deep echo from below. He was already 900 feet deep, limiting diving deeper. As he started going up, a sight in the cell shocked him. A massive crocodile-like creature, far larger than any he'd ever seen, was hidden in the shadows. The beast had to be over 80 feet long. Carlos quickly filmed the creature with his underwater camera. He uploaded the footage online and it quickly went viral. We can't show the recording on TikTok if you want to see the video, press share. Then more than photos or comment crocodile in all caps under this video. Bruh, he lied. Because he would have definitely had more photos and evidence inside of this video. Right, right. I didn't even see a, a consistent photo of the facility or infrastructure. Right. Like he had the pillars were two feet apart. Well, it looked like one of them was bones and it looked like they were eight feet apart. <laughs> and it looked like it was just two little things all mangled up. It didn't even look like a whole thing in the real picture. Well, there's a conspiracy going around that Jay-Z did a blood ritual at the Grammys, and that's not wine in this cup. It's actually blood. And it sounded kind of until I see this scene right here. Officer of blood. He said, no, nah, not tonight, Dad. There's no way you don't get through. All right. Mm. I don't know. Y'all tell us what y'all think of the comments.